Yo, what's up everybody? It's your man I do it and I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my YouTube room. The room where I create the majority of my YouTube videos. So let's go. So what you see behind me, this is my YouTube room. This is where I create the majority of my videos. I've been meaning to do this video for a while so I know you guys are curious about this. This is where I create most of my content. This is where I just come, this is a space for me where I can just relax, edit videos, shoot videos, and do a lot of other things. This is my lounge space, 400 square feet of fun. So let's start with the tour. Let me show you guys, you know, just what's behind me. Yo, so this is where I chill, I sit here, you know, sit back here relax you see my subscribe pillow subscribe i can sit here i can kick my feet up right here is really comfortable this couch is huge this couch is huge but i sit here i can watch fights i can watch youtube haircut tutorials on my flat screen here i also sometimes i'll do the the barber podcast if you guys haven't watched or listened to the beyond the chair podcast i do it every wednesday night 9 30 central standard time not discuss any and everything barbering, but sometimes I'll do the podcast here, but the majority of the time I'll do my MMA videos from here. So I'll do my live commentary videos. I'll be sitting on this couch. I'll have everything set up, my microphone. I'll have my soundboard, everything laptop in front of me, and I'll be going live there. Like I say, I mean, this couch is extremely comfortable. I can just come kick back here, put my feet up, edit the most upcoming YouTube haircut tutorial or what other vid that I have going on. Really easy, I love this space, it's real cool. Couch is dope. Now let me give you guys a tour of this side of the built-ins. I've decorated with a little bit of barbering accents. I keep a lot of stuff, like I said, it's my YouTube room. So I put a lot of stuff here for barbering and that's what this thing is for. So let's check it out. So as you see right here, I got a huge traffic sign. Now, this isn't going to be here permanently. This is more of a tempor temporary decorative piece. I'm actually going to put this in my barbershop the day I do open up a barbershop. I picked this up in an antique store. So I figure, hey, why not do it now and just accumulate some of these items now so I don't have to pay a ton of money once the time comes to decorate the shop. But it's a dope piece for here and now. As you see, it actually works. So it's, it's pretty dope. I can't wait to get the shop and hang this up. It's gonna be a pretty dope piece. But above it, I got a little barbering antique here. You can see like an old lather brush. It's like a fish anchor of sorts, if you can see that. And I've got the old school lathering mug and just some other, I don't know what this thing is exactly. Some, you guys can probably see that. Who knows exactly what that is, but it was a cool antique piece. If you didn't know me, I love antiquing. I love going to antique stores to find just really antique stuff, but also antique barbering stuff. So if I can find anything that's antique barbering, I'm picking it up and it really doesn't matter like what it is. I'm usually picking something up and I go to the antique store usually a few times a month and I can pick up a lot of good stuff. So on this side of the built-ins, I've got just some old vinyl records. You know, you can see here, I got some products and things for barbering that I just keep here. Microphone to represent, you know, what I do on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Spitting all that hot fire. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm always on the mic doing something. You know, got a small little trophy here for when I did a barber battle. I've got this little box here, but I keep a bunch of stuff in there. So I, I use it for that. Also above that, I got a, Oh, another an old camera. I don't use this camera, but it's more for decorations. Who knows? Maybe I'll use it one day. I keep my hard drive. Another lens up there, and oh, you see this? Could it be? Could 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 it be? Look at these cordless masters. Are these cordless masters? Are these cordless masters? I don't know. Look, I got the high, the low, the medium setting. Look, boom boom. These cordless. Hey, y'all want to see the haircut tutorial with these? Let me know. You know what I'm saying? So down here, I've got just a case. As you can see, one lonely pair of envies. They're actually still charged, surprise, surprise. But I actually used to keep more clippers here. I had more when I used to cut more hair in this room, but I don't that much anymore, so I took a lot of the clippers out. It's just there to hold clippers. And Now moving on to the other side of the building. You know, I'm, I'm gonna take the hoverboard, so see you over there. 
You know what's funny that when I use this, this hoverboard in this room is, this room is big enough that I can actually use this hoverboard in this room. And it's actually kind of cool sometimes. I don't get to hop on this thing very often. By the way, how many of you guys remember when the hoverboards were really popular? Let me know in the comments. So as you see here, on this side of the built-ins, I've got my mini fridge here. I, I just use it, you know, sometimes I'll keep some wine, you know, there's a little bottle of wine, but got some sodas in here and whatnot. And th this is really for people who come over and come out and chill. I don't really drink sodas that much. So, you know, it's just nice to have, nice for guests. Also, I have some books right here. You can probably see these, got a few books. We're not gonna go into what books these are and whatnot, but just know I got some books up here, you know what I'm saying, to make me look sorta of smart, you know what I'm saying? But look, 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 look. Here, here's one, one important book. The most important book of all, you know, well, well, it's not a lot of books, but the most important book out of all of these, I would have to say, is this one. You know what I'm saying, the Milady textbook. You know, this is what, got me here. Up here, you can see I have these Marvel side jars. Obviously, you can see the red, the white, the blue. Now, let me, in, in the comments, if y'all don't know what the red, the white, the blue stand for, let me know in the comments and I'm sure someone will help you out with that. But you can see, you know, I got this nice little decorative piece, you know, just, just to represent that this is all about barbering. Now, next to this, this is where it gets a little creepy. Uh, I've got some Mannequin heads, you can probably, can you see that? You got these weird mannequin heads. I just haven't chopped on them in a little while, but it's just cool. You know, some people when they come over, especially if they don't know I'm a barber or if I do things that are hair related, which it, it's kind of obvious that I'm a barber. If you look around in this room, you see a barber chair, you see other barbering things. Come on, you see mannequin heads. You, you just kind of got to put two and two together, but some people have gotten freaked out by the mannequin heads up there. Here's what it is. Uh, got another little decorative chest what have you. Also, you see that it's got this all antique uh, straight razor pattern right here in this little um, wooden frame. Uh, actually, you'll be surprised. I got this out of a dumpster uh, from this company that went out of business. And I, I was like, wow, it's actually really nice. It actually wasn't this color. I stained it black. And yeah, it's actually pretty dope. It's, it serves a purpose. So kind of cool, you know what I'm saying? Pretty dope, right? Dope. This is the TV that I watch. Little 55 inch curved TV, got the Bose sound bar. You can see up there, got the surround sound system, got my little sub, you know what I'm saying? It'd be kicking in here. You know, before I show y'all the barber chair and all this stuff, I need to show you this here. This right here, this painting, my wife did this. This is actually made out of, it's on a canvas, but it's like newspaper and she painted it. And it's obviously, as you can see, it's a gorilla. You've probably seen this in a few of my videos where I'll do an intro and you'll see this in the background or whatever. I've done a few videos where I use this wall here, right here to do my intros to certain videos or certain things. I've done Instagram videos with this as a backdrop and it's actually pretty dope. Like I just come here, boom, you get to see me whether I zoom up or whatever. It's a nice little backdrop for my videos for an intro and it's real cool. I like this this piece of art here on this wall is pretty dope. One other item here in my uh, YouTube room, I've got this old cast iron antique candy machine or gumball machine, whatever. It actually works. I don't have the lock and so I gotta get it relocked and rekeyed and stuff, but it's pretty dope. A nice little decorative piece, it just hangs out here. Another one of those things is gonna go in my barber shop the day that actually happens and I'll probably repaint this to where it's like barbershop colors. I'll do the base blue, the uh, middle white, and then the top portion of this red, but pretty dope. Got that in the antique store actually a couple weeks ago. As I hop on my hoverboard, let's go on over to the other side. This is what you guys have all been waiting for. This is the piece of the room that I'm sure is probably like why you're watching this video and you're like, man, let me see your barber station. Let me see your home barber station. Here it is, here it is. I mean, look, if you guys know, I've, done, I've actually shot a few haircut tutorials here. Uh, I've actually shoot the majority of the Beyond the Chair podcast right here in this chair. I'll shoot the podcast here, like I said, every Wednesday, 9.30 Central Standard Time. Uh, it's where I discuss any and everything barbering. The, uh, the podcast is actually gonna be really lit this year. I've, I've got some plans where I, I have guests that I wanna have on the podcast. So if you wanna see any influencer, any barber, your favorite barber, like whatever, 
be a guest on the podcast, let me know. I'll reach out to him and you know, we can make it happen. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to with the podcast this year. But let me show you the, the actual station. So as you see here, I got my antique barber chair. I got a mat that is in case I am cutting hair, which is very rare that I cut hair in this actual chair in my YouTube room. But if you guys haven't seen the vlog where I actually bought this chair, go check out one of the episodes of my blog vlogs. Actually, I have more vlogs coming soon. So you know what I'm saying? Tune in for that. But you can actually go watch the vlog where I actually went antique barber chair hunting and I was on the, the hunt for a barber chair. It's actually about a year ago to the day, actually. So go back, there's a playlist with all that. Uh, also, what I've got here, I've got a little kid booster seat for it, a little antique. You know, he, he threw that in basically for 50 bucks. It was cool. I, it's good, like one of those things, like I couldn't turn it down. So, but this antique chair is a Reliant. This antique chair, it's a Reliance. Pretty cool, you can see there. I'm not gonna try and pronounce that name. But I guess, you know, made in Cincinnati, Ohio, USA, baby. You can see this chair fully functions, spins around with ease. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty chill. You know, I can kick back. I can recline this thing, just sit back, put my feet up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes what I'll do is I'll watch basketball games from here. If you guys tune into the podcast, you guys will probably know that I'll actually watch basketball while doing the podcast, but it's really cool. I can watch a movie here. I can just kick back. Boom. Now this is my station. So as you see, it's a nice minimalist setup. I actually, when designing this space and creating just this little section, because I was trying to debate like, where do I want the barber chair? Do I want it to be a centerpiece of the room or do I want it to be like off to the side? I decided, I mean, look, this room is about 400 square feet. So I had the space, but I didn't want it to take over the space. I didn't want it to be the centerpiece of this space. So. I decided to do like a minimalist setup. I didn't want to have some big barber station. I wanted something that's real cool because like I said, I don't cut hair that much here. You see these little pipes here and I got this wood mirror, which actually, this was more of a dark brown color. I stained this sort of like I stained that frame. Also, I stained this floating wood shelf here. This is actually supported on some uh, wood, or not wood, but metal pipes. I've got these drilled into the wall and it's floating. You can see here, I've got a few other little things that I just leave here, you know, like neck strips, got a hairbrush. Also, I keep my, you know, my, my timeless aftershave, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man, Vic the Barber. He has really good shave gel and aftershave. He has other good products too, so check him out, timelessbarbers.com, you know, you guys can get some of that stuff. And the last thing on my station, I've got Barberside, got it in the jar, mix up your solution, it's pretty easy. If you guys know anything about barbering or been to barber school, they preach to you about sanitation, sanitation, sanitation. So this is what I got, you know what I'm saying? And this, I mean, this whole video has got me so thirsty, I just need to take a drink, hold, hold on. That was good, feel much better now. Bam, so that's gonna wrap up this tour of my YouTube room. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And next time you guys see me shooting a video in this space, you can you guys can actually no longer wonder where I am in this space or what this space is or where am I shooting all these YouTube videos from? Where am I getting these little cool backdrops and all this other stuff? This, this is where I shoot the video. Ooh, Ooh man, my stomach's hurt. Man, I shouldn't have drank that bar aside. Hold, hold on, hold on. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Don't drink barbicide. Uh, it's not good for you. But that's gonna wrap up this video. It's been here, man. I'm doing barbicide now. Hopefully, I'll see you guys to in another video and I don't die. I'll holler.